All right, welcome everyone to our video on different study Bibles. Now, study Bibles are an immensely important tool because it's like having a commentary built in to your own Bible. So we have quite an array of different study Bibles here and we're going to do a sprint through each one of them. And Scott, which one are we going to kick it off with? Well, um, I thought what we would do, and this, this is a, a very natural progression from where we've been so far. We've talked about concordances, we've talked about handbooks, we've talked about um, surveys, we've talked about a, quite a few things. Plus, we've, we've talked about different ways to study, you know, word studies and, you know, inductive studies, um, so forth and so on, right? So. So what we're looking for and what we're going to show here is, is some Bibles that will help in those different types of studies uh, uh, in various ways. So the first one, I, I was thinking, you know, we'll just kind of go from, from top left all the way down. Great. And this first one here is, is called a, a key word. I'll just see if you yep. write the key word for study Bible. And the thing about this is that it highlights out for you uh, different key words. Oh, and nice. then it gives you the, uh, you know, the, uh, the reference number. Mm -hmm. And then once you have that, you can go to the back. Wow. And you can look up uh, what those key words mean uh, in their original language. Wow. And so forth and so on. So, so, you know, we had talked about doing word studies. Well, this kind of prompts you to do word studies because sure. you might... You know, Apostles, for instance, is number 652. 652 here. Then you would go back here to six, look for 652 and get a, a description of what the Apostles are. So so it's very thorough that way. Oh, and yeah. I, it just caught my attention, and I thought it would be a, a nice addition uh, for studying it. Okay. Well, yeah. I need to pick one of those up now. Yeah. That, is, that is a great. Yeah, the Keyword Study Bible. So cool. Uh, yeah, by AMG Publishers. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. These guys. Yep. All right. Now, what's what's next on the list? So the next one here would be, and it, this is a big favorite for a lot of people. This is called the. I'll pull it. I'll get it in line. This go. is the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. We've talked about uh, doing references and uh, 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 comparing and yes, yeah, yeah. the studies that that allow for us to open a concordance and go from and look at all those words. Uh, verse by verse. Well, this kind of does it for you in that in the margins here, we've got cross references that tell you where to go next. So that's always very helpful um, uh, in your studies. Oh, yeah, sorry. No worries. Okay. Okay, so it has, it shows us if I want to do um, a study on so I'm in 2 Samuel here. Yeah. And then it's talking, so there's the verse right here. Yep. And then it gives me basically the, the what? What would these words be right here, just real quick? Those are, the, those are the words that we're keying in on, the topics. Got it. That are brought up in that verse. And so uh, if you want a list of all those uh, topics, that can be found in the back okay. reference. But... Um, this will tell you where to go. Let's say confidence in God, right? It's 1218, confidence mm -hmm. in God. And that will, in the back, show you all of the references in the Bible that refer to the you know, confidence in God. Gotcha. Right? And so you can do a what's called a chain reference where you where this is one verse mm -hmm. regarding the confidence of God. And then you would go to the next verse that that uh, also talks about the conf confidence in God, so forth and so on, on, onward and onward until you get to the final, the final entry of confidence in God. So I could go here to the BAM index of chain topics. Yes, sir. And it's all right here. So Christ likeness, BAM. Yep. And then it has all these verses. Yes. That he goes. Oh, that is that is super helpful. Yep. Wow. Great. Great yep. resource. Great resource. So Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Yep. Yep. All right. Now this is a. Is this even a Bible? I mean, this is like four <laughs> Bibles in one. We have yeah, a, a MacArthur, and there's other people who make these too. But a topical Bible. Yes, a topical Bible. So what's unique about this one is that 
it's it's got all of the topics. It's not necessarily a Bible per se as a a a, a list of topics with every Bible verse that applies to that topic. Got it. So right. here we have, for example, I'm just going to pull this, pull this guy up, the, okay. the wisdom of God. Thank you. So we have God, the wisdom of. And so then we have the actions, for example. We have the words. We have the way of believers. And it, it gives you the verse. It's not just a reference. It actually gives you the, the verse. The actual verse, yeah. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. So basically it compiles all the passages of a certain topic in depth for you. Correct, right. Very, very yeah. Very, very useful, helpful. very oh, yeah. helpful. Uh, I've, I've found it to be very helpful in my studies. Great. Yep. So make sure you pick up a, a topical Bible. Yeah. So next we have something which is a little, not as much writing on it. No. But is it correlates with what we talked about in our inductive study. Right. This is a study Bible that is that is committed to the entire the entire Bible here is committed to inductive study. Wow. So um, you will notice that the margins in this Bible are very wide. Mm -hmm. Right. That's mm -hmm. the first thing you'll notice, and it's it's wide for a reason. They 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 want you to make notes. Uh, inside the margins as you're as you're going through and you're reading. Got it. So I'm. Right? This is a Bible I'm supposed to mark out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's designed that way. Um, cool. Also, you'll notice that there are no themes. Right. On top of each uh, each chapter. Right. Okay. So chapter twelve theme. So you fill that in. You would fill that in after you go through and do an inductive study ah. of this chapter, right? So this chapter ends in verse 16 here. Mm -hmm. And after you've gone through and you've made your markings and you've, you've uh, uh, studied it and you've put your notes down in here and you've thought about it, the theme that comes out of your studies, you would, you would go ahead and, and mark that in here at the top. So, Perfect. so yeah, it's not, it's, it's certainly not doing much of the work for you. Right, right. But it is uh, giving you space to do your work. All right. So an inductive study Bible. Yep. Make sure you guys pick up one of those. Great, great way to practice your inductive study. Yeah. Okay. So next we have a, a the Ryrie study Bible, and this would be an example of just a, a typical study Bible, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so what? Maybe we'll just crack it open and see what's going on here. So it's it's called a Ryrie Study Bible, and I only use it because I, I have it handy. It's it's the favorite of a dear friend of uh, of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, he picked it up when he was, um, you know, 35, 40 years ago when he first became a Christian, and has loved it ever since. Uh, there's a theologian named Charles Ryrie. Right. And I think he just went to be with the Lord here. Oh, okay. Recently. Yeah, I think you're right. Yes. And um, this was the study Bible that he assembled. So, so what you're going to get in here are things like um, uh, theological notes. Okay. You, you know, when we when we're so like right here, these would be the notes for the verses. Yes. Okay. Right. So that would be content that that Charles Ryrie felt would be helpful for uh, a believer to uh, to read as well. So great. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, very helpful. There's the Charl the Ryrie Study Bible. Yep. And we have one more uh, study Bible, which has uh, been a very popular study Bible recently. It's the ESV Study Bible. Yeah. This is so big. I yeah. need to pull out a little bit here. Yep. Oh yeah. It's a we'll back this up a little bit. I'm sorry for the uh, for the damage to the Bible. <laughs> it's uh, it's well used. Yeah. Which is a good sign, right? So. So this would be the uh, the creme de la creme of study Bible. Right, right. This what this study Bible is attempting to do is pull in together almost every uh, help Bible study help you can imagine under you know one book. Oh my goodness! Right. So uh, certainly a concordance in there. There's right. There's uh, oh yeah, concordance. Yep. There's uh, things that you would find in a in a Bible handbook. There's mm -hmm. things that you would find in the concordance. There's things you would find, uh, uh, you know, in a seminary. You mm -hmm. know, if you went to seminary school, you would find uh, those sorts of things. So, uh, 
I mean, introduction to June, June, just just as an as sure. an example, right? They're going to let you know uh, what the author is, uh, the date that they that it's believed that it's uh, uh, this book Jude was written, mm -hmm. the theme, the purpose, and the background. Yep. Uh, you know, a brief description of the timeline, uh, and then a a uh, an outline down nice. here, and so. Uh, and then with inside, very detailed notes. Very notes, detailed yeah. notes. So, so here's, you can see. Here is the scripture, right from from here, yep, to here. Right. But then look at the amount of notes. Yeah, take the, almost the page. Right. Wow. Uh, regarding just what's happening here. Wow. Right. And then you would have your references that you, your cross references that you could jump to, if you wanted to. But so it, it's exceptionally thorough, mm -hmm. you know, for instance, you know, here's another page where the scripture is here and all the helps are down here. Scripture is here, all the helps are down here. You can see how, how much they are trying to give you uh, to help you understand what's being said mm -hmm. up top. Right. Right? Wow. So, so terrific study Bible. I mean, yeah. this is, this is a, uh, I mean, if you wanted, uh, uh, sort of everything in 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 one mm -hmm. one package. You know, here here you here you are, right? And perfect. Yes. And just to so everyone's clear, down here this is basically a commentary, an explanation of the verses above. So, the more kind of advanced the study Bible, the more in depth the commentary will be. So this is a more advanced study Bible. So you see how many notes there are. That's why there's so many. Um, more intermediate or beginner study Bible won't have as much in-depth yeah. notes. Great. Yeah. All right. So that's the ESV study Bible, and uh, you'll find that in almost every Christian bookstore right. uh, in the country. Um, and then finally, my own personal favorite that I've been using for a very long time, mm -hmm. I'll bring it in here. It's called the Open Bible. And what I like about it is that it does now. This this goes kind of counter yeah. to this. Sure, right? sure. So here we've got a Bible that's giving you all sorts of, of additional information right. about what you've read. Right. That's this one. This one doesn't give you any. Right. At all. So it 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 is left for me to to go in there to study it mm -hmm. to make to take notes. To uh, to uh, you know, look if necessary, look elsewhere in other uh, um, resources, resources, and commentaries. and commentaries, and that sort of thing. Right. But it's very cleanly laid out yes. for me. It's, it does have some helps in the front that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of known for the work that it did that it does uh, to to uh, start to introduce. The, uh, the book to you. Mm -hmm. So Proverbs, you know, the book of Proverbs, the author, the time. Th this is something here that I've really enjoyed through the years. Mm. And it's, it's just a synopsis of where and how Jesus can be found in the book of Proverbs. Mm. And I've always enjoyed that. Uh, what the key th uh, uh, themes are, uh, and then a quick survey of it, and an outline of the book. Beautiful. So I've I've really enjoyed this through the years, and uh, it's very it's a little plain. Mm -hmm. uh, others might enjoy more content uh, from others uh, from other types of study Bibles. I I enjoy the simplicity of this. Great. And it's laid out very well. And I've had one of these for since I became a Christian. Oh, so well. my friend Terry, he got one of these Ryrie Bibles. I got one of these Open Bibles. And go figure, we're both using the same thing. Yeah, you know, 35, cool. 40 years later. So, Amazing. so yeah. All right. So we would recommend, obviously, grab all these guys if you can. I mean, you you might have times where you you want to break out the big type of commentary Bible, and then other times you're like, I, you know what, I I just want to read. I don't want any anyone else's notes, or I want to do a topical study. So the more tools we can add to our toolbox the better what's important is that you're you're in the word of god amen and and to your point the, that's what these are these are tools mm -hmm. and tools to help us understand what it is that god is is uh, uh, saying to us through his through his word absolutely yeah
So we hope that this has encouraged you to dive deeper uh, into, the God, into God's Word using the many resources He's blessed us with. Amen.